Um, I hope you remember Carl from the other day. So we got some new artwork today. To We might as well just start rigging. Um, I went through earlier. We've got new artwork for Lee standing in a three-quarter position. And a new Carl in a new outfit. Lee's still in his uniform. Um, I'm going to try some experimenting today with the Lee rigging. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I just don't know how deep swap sets can be buried. So we want Lee's arms crossed and the way I've been rigging arms hasn't like it just won't be super conducive to like crossing them um, so we're gonna try it with crossed arms artwork in a swap set called arms and then inside default is gonna be left and right arm rigged up how we always do with all the swap sets and then inside folded we're just gonna have the artwork for the folded arms not sure how it's gonna go um, and I think I got all the hands and arms ready uh, so we might as well start the tricky one first. Let's just import the Lee artwork and get rigging. Say hi if you're uh, in chat. There's my 11 behaviors. Head and body are good. There's no desk or anything. Psycho layers in our surprise browse that are done correctly. Awesome. Okay, so here's where we're going to get a bit experimental. I'm going to create a new swap set called Arms. And I'll, I'll call that B. And then hopefully, here's where I'm not certain. That we'll be able to go this deep. Let's do our left hands and hopefully they will work. <laughs> oh dang. Let's delete that. I forgot to put default hands, or I forgot to put a handset in Lee's default hands. So that was right arm default hands is empty. Let's go to hands. And he likely will only ever use these for animating, so it's not too bad if they're not in the right spot. And then let's make sure everything is visible and nothing is blocked. And then we'll do it for the same for left. Default hands is empty.
Okay, let's go rebuild that set again. <clears throat> oh no! I guess I did rename stuff, didn't I? Hmm, I wonder why that broke our whole swap set. Okay, well, I guess I'll just start my swap sets over. Let's just double check. We still have our 11 behaviors. Frontal is still front not tagged as a head anymore. Head is tagged as head. Let's add face behavior back in. Yeah, every once in a while you lose all your rigging with changes. It's good to get those changes done. I guess it was too deep in a swap set. That's why it must have um, okay, so head. Let's go back and do browse again. Do my mask. Let's try doing so arms. I was gonna call that B and save that. Then inside arms, left arm. Let's rig this so I don't forget. Now I wonder if we're gonna want this tag on the torso this time because there's we're so deep into it. I think I'm. You know what, I'll just do it the same way, but if the arms aren't working, that is maybe something to consider. I'm going to be in deep concentration for this session. <laughs> remember if I did it as a set in arms so we'll see if this works anyway it's the best way to learn after OK Samurai videos <laughs> it is just experiment because he is going to be standing in the scene not walking or anything Yeah, I don't think I need to make them draggable or put draggers, like they're not going to be animated, so I won't add dragger behavior for them. Okay, so then rigging should be done, I think, right?
All right, so that should be that swaps that done. We'll do L for left hand and latch. All right. Do our right arm. Sorry for the silent stream. I actually forgot I was streaming for a second. <laughs> Takes a slight bit of concentration to not drop these in the wrong spot. But not that heavy a concentration. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and remember to look at ch uh, chat occasionally. Okay, an open gesture I like to make a Z on the right hand. Okay, so our swap sets might be done. If everything is rigged correctly, we are ready to pull onto the scene. Nice, so that's working good. Oh, I forgot to... Head position strength to zero, head scale strength to zero. That just keeps it attached and keeps it the same size. Uh, then we already know, let's go to torso and turn head tilt strength down to like, let's go to 30. That's already better. He's gonna be a little bit wiggly for the torso, but we can um, practice that another time. Okay, so let's go back to fit and see how we did. So I'm gonna activate triggers. And that was B. Yay! <laughs> okay, so the trick is gonna be getting his arms close enough uh, I was assured that we could make a cut to him with the crossed arms, but I think if we went up forearms in and then switched to that, yeah, we'd be able to get away with it. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so let's get all our triggers um, armed here. So Z, A, 1, B, L, P. I already see something I forgot to do. Head, brows, surprised, psycho layers. I wish I didn't have a jet plane for a computer fan. <laughs> So that's working as expected. That's working as expected. Oh, that makes me so happy that... Okay, so we won't be able to put all our triggers because as soon as we um, put our new forearms, that'll override our hands. So I'll, I'll just do a quick take of these to get them on the timeline. Oops. And now, anytime we want to see those, we'd hit B. And let's do another two frame take. 
So now we're going to have a uh, like an arms line in our animation. So any time that we want to go to folded arms, we'll just have to select it off the drop down and select folded. We should go folded. Yay, everybody. <laughs> okay, I just didn't know if the hands would still work. So it's a swap set in a swap set in a swap set. I don't know how deep you can go. And I also wasn't certain if the rigging would work inside a big swap set like that. Like, um, but yeah, go character animator. So let's build our forearms. And I think we're starting at five, but let's put it in anyway. Uh, let's stretch out our... <clears throat> Control shift D to break these up. Nice, works as expected. Uh, oops. Let's just Okay, so five and default are the same. So I'm just gonna take five out of the mix. We usually end up taking five out of the mix. And then I think he might stay on default gesture. Oh, it's actually four is default. Okay, so we can take four out of the mix as well. You know what, I would still leave, let's leave four in there. Or no, instead of four, let's do three with a default hand. Yeah, we can fart around with that later. Now, does his arms work as expected? Let's just see how much movement we get. So his default pose will be probably similar to this. Oh, I see. Crap, we might lose all our rigging because this arm... Hmm. Okay, well, I found a little issue with our the way we've got our arm set so it has to be above the torso so that means this arm also has to be above the torso but i could fix that by putting a little piece of collar except the collar would show on the arm set mm, okay we might have a small issue i guess it depends how much he does that if we just make sure to keep his arms, I'll have to consult, but it looks a little bit like, let's put the uh, folded arms back in. So what I'm worried about is if I put, if I put a little piece of collar here so that his arms look good when they're down, you can see it's gonna be covered when these hands come up. Other than that, what a good experiment. This program works so great when it works. Um, okay, let's try his other arm.
Excellent. Lead works just how we wanted them to. Let's zoom in. We've got to do a few things now. So his mask is working good. Let's check parallax. We're going to put up to 200, but sometimes on the three quarter view, 200 isn't as nice. Oh, it looks really good still. I may want to go in and, um, so his widow's peak isn't moving with his nose anymore. I think we can get away with it on the three quarter view though. I'll have to ask and see if it, if I'm the only one that notices that it isn't moving. So his ears, left ear and right ear, face and head, and it's his right ear that's behind. So that one will go to minus 150 and keep scale strength at zero and left ear will go at plus 150 and keep head scale strength at zero again. Okay, so oh, I'll have to be careful. I see his little sideburn almost peeks out too much. We can kind of get away with it, I think. Um, and then the other thing we want to do is make his um, jaw mobile. So let's zoom in to see what we're doing. Take our stick tool. And if I remember correctly on his other view, we had that set, yeah, to about 60. So let's go into lip sync, uh, jaw movement, try that at 60. <clears throat> that fan is loud enough to make the lip sync react. That's crazy loud. It's the only thing I don't like about my new computer. Okay, I'm really pleased with how Lee turned out and I think the experiment with the arms is great. So you can have a swap set in a swap set in a swap set and tucked away in there you can have all the arm rigging and everything. And I did put the um, shoulder on the arm layer, not on the torso layer, and it doesn't seem to have affected anything. I know it's kind of getting to be bad practice with body tracking and walk behavior, but I haven't been using that on any of my puppets recently, so I just haven't, haven't bothered doing it that way. And his legs move all right, because he is going to be pivoting. That leg moves a little bit funny. Let's see if we can adjust that one leg. So that's just adjusting these sticks down here. Uh, his right leg. Let's see if we can just slide those down a little bit. much better and then I thought of another thing while I was in there so his arms on the actual default left and right arms those we both want oops both want those instead of weld on hinge and then when we go back in he just moves a lot nicer his arms kind of keep him in balance as your arms would yeah, so I think his rest pose. Hmm, it still looks really in front. I wonder how I could do that. I guess I could put the collar as a swap set. Collar one, collar two. Oh, no, that wouldn't work because of the jaw. Could we put the collar as part of the folded arms artwork? So let's turn these off so we can see. So what I might suggest, <coughs> or we could try it if we have to. So instead of just having the arms in there, you just, no, because what if he's not straight? The collar might not be in the right spot. 
there there is going to be a way to do this because the experiment worked like the hard this is the part that i was worried about is that these won't work anymore yay okay well we don't have much to do he's a pretty straightforward puppet except for that one experiment so i guess we could go straight on we've also got um carl to do in a new outfit and he's not experimental or anything so it's just to care have to be careful rigging up that we drop everything into the right swap set and I see that I have default arms or hands all the way up let's just double check that I remembered to put hands in the default hands yes okay so he should be a straightforward rig that's Carl dark red three quarters so we can just import So let's rename our draggers. Let's add a dragger. Let's find our face behavior and rename it torso, not body. Good advice as that was. Now it interferes with body tracker. And then you have two body things, so I've just taken to calling it torso. And zero. And zero. And we're gonna add Lim IK. We're gonna add auto blink. Frontal tag this frontal and also as a head. Head tag this head with face behavior added to it. And attached. Head face behavior. Head position strength to zero. Head scale strength to zero. While I'm in here, let's do ears. Left ear and right ear. Tag this head with face behavior. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. And then his right ear. No, his left ear is behind his head, so that one we want at minus 150. That at zero. His right ear we want at plus 150. And that at zero. Let's make sure those are still attached. Our browsed swap set <coughs> and cycle frames. Going to tag our eyeballs. Gonna make our face mobile. This one I'm gonna have to go in. I'm not certain if it's the beard um, that makes it not like what's happening there. I'm not sure if it's the beard that makes it um, stretch so incredibly much more than normal. Um, so that one fixed. I'm gonna try putting it this time on the single color. I think I might have had it last time on two colors and then maybe it got confused about what was supposed to stretch or not. We'll see if this does a better job, but we can always go in and adjust those. Uh, and then do I have a mask? Yes, I do. So left eye, I'm going to go to puppet, create clipping mask. Okay, so head should be good to go. Brows are done, so we can go left forearms. left hands
All right, left hand should be done. Let's twirl those closed. And we'll do our right forearms. Rename it right hands. It's not super exciting to watch, is it? I'm concentrating too hard to be very chatty today. Okay, I think that's done. All we have to do now is rig the body, I believe, right? So left arm, yeah, let's do a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. And then same drill, they're going to be in the scene together, so I'm not going to rig his legs up for walking, just for um, Lima K to register. Once in a while that doesn't, there we go. a draggable on his um, feet or on the timeline so I'm just not going to bother putting them on Okay, I think we might be ready to pull um, Carl onto the timeline. Yay, everything works as expected. So let's go to torso and move that down to about 30 again. That's better already. Let's zoom in. Did we do his eyebrows right? Both brows. Yay. 
Oh, he's got a special. So we animated Carl's frown line in the last one, and we really liked the way that looked. So we're going to continue doing that. So he's got these little frown lines up here. Um, and to make them track properly, I believe they're in the nose. So frown. Let's create that swap set. And we're going to calm down. Um, B, I guess. Yeah, let's latch that. I'm not certain. So when Carl's unhappy, he has the down frown all the time. So if that's the case, I would just make down frown the default and not bother putting it on the timeline. Um, unless we want to animate them when he's doing the surprise brows again. So currently the, the little up. Yeah, there's the, <laughs> let me just see if I have the settings here. I think this is Carl's. Um, so let's go to lip sync and we'll turn that down a little. That's the one setting I didn't write down. And then in here it was AA was minus 116. D is four. There, so that should be, oh, I see we're gonna have to go in and redo these. It's, he's from a different view. I was hoping that if I had everything in the right spot. Um, so yeah, all I have to do is, uh, that's kind of boring to watch, so we won't do each of those online, but he's still nice and expressive. Yeah, I got his ears going the right way. Um, let's see how we did, um, let's get everything on the timeline here. So I'm gonna turn off everything triggers So I think five might be the default here. They look a bit long. Um, let's just check out how the rest of them look for three, two, work as expected so five and default are the same so I'm just gonna take five out of the mix usually I end up taking one of them out of the mix because they're the default okay and let's see how default arms work so we'll activate left and right hand draggers good a little bit of bending oh I know why let's go back into rig uh, on body left and right arm we want to hinge issues there. Hands are all facing the right way. That's excellent. Um, let's build the other ones. So again, I don't think we need to bother putting in five, but it's worth having a look. Sometimes they're at a slightly nicer angle for what, whoops, for what we need. So instead of using default, then
Okay, so we're just going to take out five because they are the default. Four, three, two, one looks good. Let's make sure our hands are facing the correct direction. Oh, did I take off both hands? I guess I did. Oops. Oh, it's right hands. <laughs> Sorry, having a little bit of a moment. It's confusing actually because left and right, then you have to train yourself his left, his right, and then now I'm trying to think my left, his right, I don't understand. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll do our two frame take. Oh, turn everything off except triggers. Then activate your hand. that was harder than it needed to be. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like all the hands are in the right direction too. Well, that was a nice simple read today. Let's see if they're all moving how we want them to. Yeah, we're going to get good movement on him, I think. Might have to go change that elbow point a little bit. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's go check his face. We want to um, face head. Let's go parallax strength up to 200 because his looks so good. I'm gonna turn everything on and just check. Yeah, nice. This is a great puppet. He is fun to animate and, and fun to use. He's just so expressive. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll be used in something more exciting than feedback. Constructive feedback. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't planning on doing any animating today. I thought this would take a little longer. I thought that we'd have some um, troubleshooting on Lee with the new arms. Um, but I think the only experimenting is going to be like in the actual animation phase. How much we can get away with like potentially if we're on Lee's... these forearms and then go to the folded might work or we could try and turn these I just never have much luck turning them the opposite way of the jagger like they're meant to turn this way so but I'm really happy with this experiment I yeah character animator apparently can go as many levels deep in swap sets as you want and you still have a nice tidy timeline like trying to animate him crossing his arms I think would be a lot harder just the way his arms are set up for this for all his other gestures but this is a great solution we could even do a hands-on hips because um, I don't have the extra set of hands and it just takes care of a lot of the layering issues that you might get so I'm really pleased um, it's a great pose and the other nice thing is when everything's animated, let's turn off triggers over there again. He still, um, because they're in the right spot in the swap set, they still work good. Like they don't have to move or like because they move with his torso, everything works fine. I think the, the other people involved in the project are going to be really happy with how this experiment turned out. Wonderful. I guess that's about it. Hi, viewer. <laughs> I wish lonely viewer would sometimes say hi in the chat <laughs> and maybe ask me a question. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll sign off for the day. I hope you have